What I want to look at in this tutorial is uh, making some amendments to the employee works, uh, the employee hours worksheet that um, we started on in the previous tutorial that looked at macros. What I want to do is I want to be able to set a flag here, just put a Y in, if an employee uh, has worked or hasn't worked enough hours in a week. Basically the test is going to be if in two particular weeks they work less than say 10 hours then I want to be able to send a, well just set a flag here that just put a Y in this column that says uh, that we need to send a letter and perhaps use it for a mail merge. Uh, so for example if I look at uh, this one Jimmy Buffett uh, we can see that um, he's got two weeks week three and week four where he's worked less than 10 hours so what we'd really want to do is set this flag we want it done automatically we want the um, worksheet to do all that for us and set it for us now the problem is um, as we know from the previous tutorial all this data here is created automatically in other words when we fill in the form on this side we run a macro and all this data is transferred into this timesheet table here stored so I can't really put any functionality here to set the flag because each of the rows is going to move down as we copy more data in so I'm going to have to keep putting the function a new function in so what I want to do is basically on the form section I want to add something I want to add the flag here so what I'm going to actually do is put in some functionality so in this cell down the bottom here it's going to check each of these hours because remember the hours from the previous tutorial you should remember that these hours are copied down from the form so each of these is copied from there and it's just going to check basically if any of these is under a certain target amount of hours uh, and if it is we want to set the flag to Y in this one then when we run the macro to copy all this line onto the second timesheet table the flag will always be already be set to Y or blank if it doesn't apply. Uh, right, let's have a look at how we can set this up. So there's a number of ways of doing it, but the way I'm going to do, first of all, the user wants to be able to set a target number of hours. So they want to change the number of hours that's going to trigger this flag being set. So I'm going to put a field. Now, all these bits, all this data down the bottom of the form, by the way, uh, later on, we're looking at a later tutorial, we're going to hide all this. The user won't see it. All they're going to see is this nice blue form that they're going to enter the data in. So let's put a target hours area and let's say the user can type over that but I'm going to put 10 in there for the moment. Um, I don't need to change this because this part of the macro is working alright. This is copying the data correctly down from the form. What I want to do though is I want to be able to say um, if this number of hours, these cells here, if these number of hours, if in any of those weeks it's the number of hours is below the target what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set put the value 1 in there and you'll see why in a moment um, first of all, I'm just going to use a simple if to do that for us so I'm going to put an if in and basically what I'm going to do is test the number of hours and if the number of hours in a particular week is less than the target number of hours uh, I'm going to copy this in a moment so I want this to be an absolute reference I'm going to put F4 in there to an F4 so that's fixed if the number of hours is less than the target number of hours I'm just going to put 1 uh, and if it isn't if the number of hours is ok it's, a, it's equal to the target above I'm just going to leave it at 0 ok that's working so let's drag that across and as you can see what's happened is that where the number of hours is 8 which is less than the target over here then they're set to 1 ok let's just change the number of hours in this one just to test it so week 1 I'm going to change to 9 ok and as we can see when I press enter 9 appears down the bottom because that's copied down and the, this is automatically the if statement automatically sets this to 1 what I'm going to do now is I need to know if any two weeks is less than two hours because we only want to set the flag if two weeks if two weeks in, in out of all the four are less than the target amount 
in this particular case they are and all I'm going to do is going to put a simple auto sum, I'm just going to put a sum function in and that just sums up the number of ones actually so if the number of ones is two or above I know that I need to set the flag because that means there are two or more weeks where the number of hours is less than the target uh, I want my flag to be put here, this yes no flag to be put in this cell once again simple if statement uh, should do it for us um, as you can see I've already put one in earlier but let's just start that now let's just do it from the beginning so I'm going to delete the content so I want to put an if statement in there so what I want to do is let's bring up the if so what I'm testing is if this cell here is greater than one which means it must be two or above then I want to set the flag to white I want to say yes it's true if it isn't I'm just going to make it blank so I'll put in two double quotes and press OK so that's working at the moment you can see that there are two weeks in which the hours are less than the target the targets 10 over here and that means a one is put in this particular cell I've got two weeks or more which are less than hours and therefore I've set the flag now what I want to do is record a macro just as we've done in the uh, tutorial before this so it's going to copy all this information from here this time with the amendment so we get this flag coming across as well into this one so let's just record the macro so this is going to be the same procedure as we've done before so it'll just act as a reminder for you uh, the first thing we want to do is go to developer and we want to do record macro and I'm just going to give this a name of um, letter flag so I can just remember what it's about press OK OK so we've started recording so the first thing I need to do is I need to copy this line so I'm going to copy that and I need to use paste special to copy it just underneath because I only want the values and number formats of that line copied down by the way in um, I think in Excel 2010 if you're using that this comes up as a different pop-up but it's the same thing select values and number formats that's all we want let's press OK so now underneath here we've actually got a copy of that line but we haven't got the formulas in it we've just got the values which is what I want to copy now I'm going to press copy again and this time I'm copying this second line and I'm just going to paste it into my timesheet table click where we want to in the line we want to insert this, the data above so right click the mouse insert copied cells and as before we want the other cell shifted down and lo and behold we've got the right line is copied and this time the flag is set let's go back to our original one here uh, I don't need this copied line anymore so I'm just going to delete the content there I'm going to leave all this bit with the target hours and the calculations because I need all that and let's just click back in here and to stop recording 